All right, so here is the video you have all waited for. Uh, many of you keep asking me I, or telling me I need to taste this. And so here we go. We have our two. We have our uh, infected berry beer with that was on oak. And we have our infected berry beer that was on uh, the vanilla. Uh, one has a little bit chunkier than the other. This one still has a, that uh, thin film on it. Here I have a, a Munich Dunkel that I made uh, for Critical Mash here, my Critical Mash Brewing. So it's definitely not a traditional Munich Dunkel, a lot stronger. Uh, that's for a rinse beer in case this is just too disgusting and I can't handle it. And of course, if I need to spit it out, I have another one. So let's go in here and let's talk about these real quick. I don't know how much you can see, but these have an amazing, amazing orange reddish hue. Um, I mean, it just looks phenomenal. Um, so, okay, so now I'm getting a little bit different smell that I'm out of my brewing kitchen. Uh, things are a little bit different. So I'm smelling the vanilla one and I'm getting almost a little, I think maybe, maybe a little bit of vinegar smell. Hopefully not. We'll have to wait and see how it tastes. Maybe, uh, I'm not always the best at picking out aromas, uh, or, or naming that flavor, but we'll see what's, I mean, I could definitely tell great and horrible. So we're going to take a, so this is starting to smell a little bit sour. I was saying upstairs that it, uh, in, in the brewing kitchen, it didn't smell sour, but I'm getting a little bit of a sour smell. Not necessarily bad. Uh, it very well could end up being a great sour, but I'm not sure just yet. Still a lot of berry, a lot of raspberry, and uh, a little bit of blackberry. I'm not getting too much vanilla like I did last week. So here we got the wood one. And the wood one had to, it was one of the bubbles in the pellicule. Um, and this one's not sour so much. This one I'm getting that funk. I'm, uh, definitely a funk we were talking about with that bread. And this has more of the of the barn, uh, of the barn flavor or the aroma that I that I love in breads actually. So it's kind of peculiar. Uh, I mean, basically the same beer. Just this one had uh, has, had some vanilla added to it. This one had some wood that was soaked on white wine. Uh, also, because the other one isn't as bad, uh, I, I strongly doubt that the vanilla and the wood being separated like they were and coming from different sources contain the exact same um, bacteria or uh, wild yeast, whatever it might be, uh, infecting this. Um, so I have to assume it's the berries. So let's go ahead and get uh, rid of this Munich Dunkel out of the way. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, stop delaying inevitable. We'll start with what I believe to be uh, more sour here, um, the the uh, the vanilla. So, cheers. You know, I gotta say that's actually. Still really good tasting beer. Um, so I wish it had a little bit more body to it, maybe a little bit more flavor, but again, I think that could mellow out. Uh, but I'll tell you what, maybe slightly on the sour side, but other than that, I mean, it's still tasting great. This, no, this is definitely not gonna be a dumper. I'm gonna try that again. I'll tell you what, I could, I could, I could give that to most anybody right now and only true uh, beer lovers are actually going to be able to taste an infection. Most people are just going to taste that berry and a lot of people are going to find it hard to even believe that's, uh, that's alcoholic. And we're talking about 7% now after doing the math, uh, like I said, I added the fruit at 9%, uh, it sucked about 2% out if you do, uh, if you do the basic bricks for the different fruit added and the amounts it was and the weight it was, uh, it knocked it down to a little bit over 7%. Uh, I don't want to get into specifics right now. That's not what this video is for. But that's that's still really phenomenal. Um, infected or not, that's still really good. I, uh, I really drug that out for no reason. Um, so let's let's move on to the, to the, to the wooded beer, the oaked, uh, if you will. Um, you can still see the, uh, it's, it's, it's not a film on this one, it's more broken up little pieces. 
we'll go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and stop delaying that because I mean I'm really excited for the vanilla one and I'm definitely excited for this. Again, a lot of berry, very little of the, uh, uh, of the, um, the you, you don't get much of a Belgian wit, which was the base I used. Uh, not too much that, except in the back side you can definitely get it uh, pretty pretty malty, but not sweet. Uh, definitely can taste that, but uh, slightly sour. I think if I let this go a long time, I think this could really turn into something great. Uh, let's go ahead and stop delaying. Let's go ahead and get into the, the oak one. So, again, slightly sour. I mean, I can't say it's not. It is slightly sour, but definitely a little bit more funk than that one had as far as the smell. And I do mean that in a good sense. Let's go ahead and taste it. So, it's kind of hard to tell where everything's coming from. So, the, the, the wood flavor in this... Um, is definitely apparent, also, as is the uh, the white wine I soaked it in. So it's a little bit musty. For you get real, real light white wine uh, must from it, uh, mustiness I should say. And that that's probably where that uh, that 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 funk comes, or the barn varnish is even coming from, possibly uh, almost like a dustiness, but definitely good. Um, really surprised. Uh, again, I, I mean I was nervous for no reason. And I'm sure this is what many of the uh, you know people who intentionally infect their beer uh, go through and don't worry about on the daily. Again, not something I'm used to doing. Um, but let's take another drink here. Let's try. Let's try to get another taste here. So yeah, definitely I'm getting definitely getting some staleness there. Um, still strong berry, uh, strong, uh, well not strong, but I can definitely taste that oak and that wine. I mean, all the characteristics I want in this beer are still here. Uh, it's almost like the infection hasn't, uh, hasn't done much to it. I'm actually more, uh, curious about how that's going to change. So, from my understanding, I could actually probably stop that infection right now and, uh, keg this up. And it's still highly drinkable. Uh, the infection is a little bit more noticeable in the oak one than it is in the vanilla. But again, I mean, not too many people would pinpoint it. I mean, they're going to taste the off flavor, but they're not going to pinpoint this to an infection, I don't believe. Unless, of course, they're they're big, big beer enthusiasts. But... There's definitely no sour flavor in this one at all. And like I said, this one here tastes more like a Brett. I mean, it's, and that's what I originally thought that infection might be it going into it, uh, being it came from the, uh, you know, it's unsanitized fruit. Uh, we're talking a lot of berry, uh, raspberry, blackberry, blueberry. Um, so it very well could be the Brett. And it was strong. I have to do a lot more research. I, I'll be honest, I'm not. Uh, a sour guy. I'm not a uh, Brett or a lacto guy either. Um, but I'm going to do a lot more research and we'll find out where this is going to go. I'm still really excited. Really excited. And, uh, you know, I thank you for joining me. Any questions, any comments, any, um, any advice you can give, please post below. Thank you.